Your brain is amazing and it can accomplish almost anything. Let's talk about your brain unlocking a better version of yourself in the new year. With us now is Eric Rittmeyer. He is a mental toughness expert. He is a Marine. He's a highly sought after speaker and I've been looking forward to talking to him. Eric, welcome to the show. Thank you for your service. I've got a feeling you're not a man who likes a lot of pleasantries. You want to cut to the chase, right? <laughs> Come on, John Cooper, you got me all scared, man. I mean, if I'm mental tough, but you're all jacked up. I gotta get back in the gym. Come on. <laughs> I think you're fine, Mr. Rittmeyer. I think you're fine. <laughs> Let, let's talk a little bit about your background, because not only are you very educated in the powers of the brain, but you've actually exercised those powers. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Yeah, I'm a former Marine, John. I just, I, I love the core. I love anybody who wears a uniform. I bleed green, right? But it's, it's funny, in my, in my time serving in the military and owning businesses and training salespeople and hiring and firing, you know, I really, put, I got hyper-focused on what, what was the common thread with all the most successful people. And what I found was, it was all about their mental toughness, their ability to control their emotions, which is what a mental toughness is all about. It's emotional control. You hear it, you think running, jumping jacks, push-ups, that's part of it, but the biggest piece of mental toughness is emotional control. We get no training on it. That's the problem. From what I understand, Eric, unless you have a medical condition or a psychological condition, you're saying that weight gain is 100% your fault. You, you want to call it like it is. Tell us about that mindset. Absolutely. So we, we live in this society, you know, it's all about defense mechanisms and making excuses. Let's be realistic. Okay. The, the, the weight loss industry is a multi-billion dollar a year industry. They sell these things where you pop a pill, you go to bed, you wake up, you lose 10 pounds. You don't have to do anything for it, right? Instant gratification. What it all boils down to is our thought processes. We have 100% control over our actions. The weight loss thing, especially is a simple equation. You burn more calories than you consume. It's a very simple equation. So the problem is we get in these habits we have these very bad habits we do and we allow our emotions to control everything we do and we rely on motivation to accomplish our weight loss goals if we rely on motivation alone it's never going to happen because you wake up in the morning you don't feel good you're going to give up so you have to you have to rely on a strong emotion-based why something that drives you okay eric so we like takeaways here so what i need from you is maybe you could give us like five tips for mental toughness that can help us whether it be lose weight accomplish more at work let's talk a little bit about those yeah so the, the very first thing to realize is we have total control over our emotions what happens outside we cannot control what matters is how we respond to what happens to us so when it comes down to it we have to take control of the emotions when it comes to dieting when it comes to exercise we get in these habits of the yo-yo so we wake up we don't feel good we don't do it we go through a breakup you know how many movies are there where boy and girl they go through a breakup they're sitting on the couch with a tub of ice cream and a pizza right it's these yo-yo diets mentally tough people are grounded in objective reality. They know it's not going to be easy, but they focus on the results. They don't focus on the pain. Interesting. So when you speak throughout the country and you do this a lot because people want to unlock that power of, of emotional and mental toughness, when you speak, what are, what are some of the most common questions you get or some of the red flags when you go, okay, we've got to sit down and talk. What, what do you hear out there? Well, the funniest thing is, you know, people, when I, when I train, when I speak to these groups, the funniest thing, John, is everybody assumes, like, Eric, you just have no emotion at all. You're talking about emotional control. And it's like, no, I have tons. Like, I'm a very emotional person. I cry at movies. I do all of that. The only difference is I have control of my emotions. So people just don't get it. Our nation right now is intoxicated in emotion. We're incapable of logical thought processes. So when we, when we allow our belief systems, when we allow our thoughts to control what we do, it results in bad things, especially in an environment like right now this outrage culture everybody's so upset with each other get control of the emotions respond to situations don't react okay a, a lot of this I hear sounds like marine type training Navy SEAL type training so for those of us who are everyday guys and gals how do you change that mindset is it a step-by-step -step process talk about a talk about a little bit if you would about how to begin that whole shift of, of and become mentally tough I think it all starts with developing that why, John. It doesn't have to just be for New Year's resolutions. But again, the issue is we set these goals and we just, I call it the shotgun approach, right? So whatever the goal is, we set the goal and then we use the shotgun approach. So we put a little bit of effort there, a little bit of mental energy there, and it just gets spread all out. As opposed to having a very well-defined emotion-based why. Why do you get up in the morning? Why do you do what you do? Is it for your kids? Is it for your family? Is it for your health? Is it for your spouse? Whatever it is, have that emotion-based 
highest vision. So even when times get tough, even when you're tired, even when you're hungry, even when you feel weak, you're going to go back to that vision and say, you know what, this is why I'm doing it. So it's remaining laser focused on that and knowing that it's not going to come easy, but you got to stick with it. Stay, stay directly motivated towards the strong emotion based why. Okay, l let me give you a scenario, Eric. Okay, let's say, because I do this often. I I'm sitting there, I'm, I'm lazy at the end of the night. Maybe I even got in my workout. Regardless, I'm watching television and I want to make that trip to the refrigerator. I want to start binge snacking. And I admit it's emotional eating. Do you have a mantra or something that we should remember to kind of put that aside and forget about that trip to the refrigerator? For me personally, I, I used the Chris Farley. Remember that fat guy in a little coat? I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, but you have to. <laughs> What you have to, what you have to, what I, what I rely on for this, John, are triggers. Okay, we all have these habitual triggers. Something that gets us going. For me personally, it's alcohol. I know if I drink. I'm going to be in Taco Bell. It's just going to happen. It's the way it's going to be. So if we can be aware of our triggers and if we can mentally prepare for situations before we're in them, that better helps us deal with that. So if we're going to be around holidays, if we're going to be at a birthday party, we know there's bad food there, prepare mentally prior to. Eat a head of lettuce. Drink a ton of water. Just go there so you're not starving. So when the trigger comes up, when the ice cream comes out, you're aware of the trigger. You know what's going to follow. That's going to be emotion-based. We have to remain in total control and not allow ourselves to fall off the wagon just because somebody puts pizza in front of us. Well, I hate to hear that your issue might be alcohol because I was going to ask you if you and I could have a beer together, but apparently that's not going to happen now. So we, we've been focused on weight loss here, but your book, um, The Emotional Marine, it, it really deals with other issues as, as well. What other kind of issues or challenges can it help us with? My book, it's so funny, you know, in your last segment there, you talked about Akuna Matata, right? So my book is all about, I refer to this as being the 2021 equivalent to the hippies movements from the 1960s, right? Make love, not war. My book is all about likability, how to connect with people, how to be a better spouse, how to be a better parent, a better friend. It's just very simple things anyone can do to quickly connect with people. When I wrote the book back in September of 2019, little did I know it was going to happen just a few months later with this whole pandemic, but it's just a very, very simple guide anyone can use to be more likable to get connect with people which we have a difficult time doing especially in a society of social media not social interaction all right as we close out the interview eric i've enjoyed it very much where can folks go if they'd like to purchase your book you're the man john thank you my website's best it's mental toughness speaker.com. They can also go in there and download. I have a free report there. Uh, it's eight simple ways to burn calories at home. My book's on Amazon. You can go to emotionalmarine.com. I'm on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, catching hate on Twitter. I'm all over the place. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. No, that. thank you, Eric Rittmeyer. Hoorah. Thank you so much for the advice. Hoorah. <laughs> Hoorah. Thank all you, right. John. Eric Rittmeyer, nice once again, the emotional marine. That's really good advice. All right, coming up, we're going to find out what's happening at two o'clock.